Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon Mod the Gungeon popping back into the Gungeon with an Eden run once more. In we go. We got to, I mean I guess we can look at the stats here. Speed is a little bit worse. Rate of fire is a little bit worse. Spread is better, I think. I think our accuracy is better. Two coolness. Apparently we're doing a rainbow run. You know what? That sounds good anyways. <laughs> it's a, I guess we have this left on from the stream, but you know what? That actually sounds like a like a good time. We have not done a modded rainbow run yet. Uh, coolness 2, our damage is basically the same. 3% down. The other time basically the same. Curse 1, charge multiplier 1. Oh, we got a new uh, we got a new item. We got the sawed up. We basically have the convict start for weapons, but we also got a new item to start with. Snail bullets looks like a colony of snails has made its home in this empty shell to hide from predatory birds. While the shell itself cannot be fired, the slime it oozes from this from the generations of snails within has interesting properties when paired with other ammunition. I, I imagine that means slow down bullets. Oh dear God. What are we going with now? I feel like we've seen this slightly, like on stream or something. This looks like it's ammo related. We have seen that item before. Infinigun, not even close. Oh, okay. Infinigun, infinite ammo. It does not reveal secret walls. Prototype blaster is able to generate unlimited am am unlimited energy using the perpetual motion of its chamber, theoretically granting it infinite ammo. Theoretically granting it infinite ammo. Theoretically. Does not have to be reloaded either? Uh, okay. Theoretically is the big question mark here, but right now this gun seems very strong. Especially considering not only do we not have a damage up, we have a technically a damage down. Rate of fire is supposedly worse as well. This... The big question of the day is, what does theoretically infinite ammo mean? What does theoretically infinite? <laughs> is it gonna just like explode on us at some point? Right now, like it's it's bopping. We have no idea what tier it is or anything. We're just gonna take the money and run, son. Right now, very into it though. Uh, so spread. If we do have an accuracy up, well, okay, let me just. For, just for uh, clarity's sake, I'll give myself the laser. Oop, wait. Oh, sorry, laser sight. Spread becomes 0.3. Yes, indeed. Uh, all right, we have an accuracy up. Get out of here. Theoretically infinite. We do have the bottle. I guess I should. Uh, I should put something in there, but I guess I'd probably rather go for something like ooh, go for something like a, an ammo up even though we do have theoretically have an infinite <laughs> ammo gun right now it could just be in infinite ammo and then it breaks at some point or it could literally just be uh theoretically infinite because you can't know if it's infinite because we're not infinite you know game don't go on forever how could we know if infinity's infinity if we aren't infinity also you know you know? It's not infinite because the game closes. <laughs> the game closes at the end of the day. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy. We just got the dang uh, game to open back up. If you missed it, my uh, my stream on Monday, we, <laughs> we crashed the game so bad that I couldn't get it to open again until I restarted my computer. It was, uh, it was something. If you, if you missed that and you want to see it, it was... It was wild. It was absolutely wild. You can see it over on my second channel, Rito Does Games. <laughs> oh my god. That like basically hit scan me. Not really, but like basically. I've always said that I wanted uh, the snail bullets to be utilized more in this game because, or the snail effect, the slowdown effect. Because it just, it's. It seems weird that it's not utilized more. That being said, I think that with the rate that we're applying it right now, it seems like it may be pretty, like, OP. Because on bosses, it it totally, like, destroys certain bosses. 
and the rate of snailing is crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy rate of snailing. ROS. Not to be confused with ROUS. Rodents of unusual size. But we got that, uh, okay, that rainbow mode life on. We, we've been getting quite a few requests for doing a, a rainbow mode with this. Anywho, I do think that uh, a good idea would be, unless we get like a, uh, oh god, that, like bloodied scarf. If we get bloodied scarf, we'll probably go to the alt floor so that we get the guaranteed rainbow chest because you don't get any chests in rainbow mode, but if you find a natural rainbow chest, it is allowed. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I actually hate you. Uh, there should be a second water barrel. Thank you. Are we gonna go? Yeah, probably. I do want to go to uh, the rat, probably. It's basically, I'm gonna go to the rat unless we get... Oh, jeez. This is... This is causing an existential crisis here. Uh, I want to go to the normal rat unless we get bloodied scarf like on the next floor. And even then, it's like bloodied scarf with no other cool modded options. Which I find very hard to believe when we've got, uh, you know, we got those, we've got all of that left. Let's be honest, like, where, okay, where does the modded item starts now? Where does the modded items starts now? Right there. So there's like literally half of the passives in the game are modded, modded uh, passives right now, which is crazy. Passives or active, I, I do suppose. And there are more guns that are being added. Obviously, the uh, since the passives and actives are just easier to make, they're being added to the game at a staggering rate, like an absolutely staggering rate, and it's fantastic. It is so great. Okay, the slowdown bullets on him is going to make him either very, very easy or it's going to trip me up and make him weirdly uh, brain flooding. Seems like it's making him easier. That being said, I, I'm definitely used to him chasing me at a faster rate, so, so I am like running away too quickly. There's things like the, the third phase of the Lich will get absolutely melted when he does that move where he tries to dash around because he just takes 20 years to get to his final locale. But there we go. Sounds good to me. Get that extra freaking key. There we go. Good to me. Get that extra freaking key. Down to the next floor. Back to the sewers. This is the, the sprite work on this gun is very cool. I just realized there's an infinity symbol on the dang chamber. Aww. Well, not the chamber, on the uh, front. <laughs> Man, you'd think with this many hours in Enter the Gungeon, I would know a lot about guns. <laughs> you would think. You'd, you'd think I'd pick up something. Nope. Crack open a cold water and open up a crack. More like crack open a uh, rainbow chest here. What do you got? Oh, malediction rounds. As much as I would want, I want this because it's so good. I gotta go with... Phasor. Oh, it's rainbow. I guess I should, uh, yeah, we did read that one. Fires faster the longer the fire button is held down. Made from pure rainbows, imaginations, hours of slavery, and fantasy. Hmm. Oh my god, it's good. It's good. It is. It's actually, like, really good. Like, really good. All right. I'm, I'm, like, really digging the guns today. You know, yesterday when we said we haven't had any gun, like... Aside from the, uh, the dang Minecraft dispenser, we hadn't really had any, uh, really, really good, strong guns. Like, we've had cool guns, but none of them being, like, particularly strong. We just got two absolutely crazy strong guns today. We don't know what tier they are. I would imagine they're pretty high tier. But this is, like, I mean, 
This is basically the Patriot, but... But not piercing, but higher damage. And the ramp up is better. I, 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 I like it maybe, maybe more than the Patriot. Feels like you don't have to commit as hard. I think the, I think the ramp up period is is better. That being said, it's obviously out of ammo now. So I am glad that we have the Infinigun, but I'm obviously waiting for the catch. <laughs> That's it. Something about that. Oh, something about that. Uh, theoretically, is just giving me a a whole freaking crisis and a half. But I gotta say, snail bullets are cur currently. This room is suck. <laughs> are currently absolutely wild. The second phase of that room. The first phase is not that bad. The second phase that was like. Those guys fire the, the 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 issue with them is it's not as much the placement of them or the fact that they exist in the room, but more just the the way that that enemy's AI works in general. They fire on oh god, they fire on startup. Like basically, they they, they practically don't give you time to to react, which is goofy. But see, like right there, I can like I can deal with this stuff. Like I can I can move around and not stop. No issues. No issues at all. But it's just the certain enemies that do that. Yeah, they they, they fire on startup. It's the same thing where uh, it's a, it's a base game issue though. It's not really the modded room's fault. I think it's uh, what do they call it? The veteran shotgun Ken? Something like that. We got the two rooms in a row that were similar, but it's a uh, it's a strategy that the game itself employs. There's two different procedurally generated rooms whoop, that have the same technical layout but a different set of enemies. So it's kind of like it's in there to provide a, a little bit of variety while oh, still you know, well not taking quite as long to to make another room. See, look at the snail rounds. I I'm I don't know, man. They are very good. I don't know what tier they are, but uh, they need to be one higher, no matter what. Uh, is this just a power trip room, or is there something I'm missing? Okay. Oh my god. Um. About that. About that. Oh. There's no point. We will bust it just in case there is HP. Man, oh man. Oh, you're still alive. Fight me. We'll take the phaser because it is stronger. So, I, I, or at least I think it's stronger. It sure seems like it. God, I love the, uh, I've always, ever since I was a young boy, I uh, the, the dang rainbow effect. It's always just been... It's always just been satisfying to look at. This is a fun little room layout in general there. I am going to take this literally just as a shield. I'm not going to go to the floor. But I, uh, I'm happy to have the shield. Thanks. All right. Boss damage cap being reached, I imagine. Don't you do it! Oh, you know what? That's the slowdown on him actually was doing some work. It was making it making him take longer to get to his little uh, his little hidey hole. We're surely at the damage cap. Let's uh, let's stop it and reload it again every once in a while here. Yeah, I don't know. What is it about this gun? It just feels it feels better than the Patriot to me. Which is weird because it doesn't have the piercing. So like, I don't. Know, it's probably a stats thing. It's probably a stats thing. And I guess if the since the worst thing we have is we have a like a poor rate of fire. How fast does this thing shoot normally? Hamina, hamina. Uh, on to the next though. I think we're done there.
I love it. Two very, very solid guns. Ha really, really happy to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Can we technically reload this? Because this is Rochambeau. Gives us a different status effect every time we reload between three. This is a very cool new gun. Have we seen Rochambeau in the series? I don't know. I'm going to go with this. Okay, so we can't technically reload. Okay, so neither of our guns can reload. But, that means they're stuck on fire, which is not even necessarily a problem. I mean, you can see, it's, it puts fire at their dang, their dang feet. I believe it switches between that, poison, and, uh, and ice. Here, do we have the standard? Does it switch us, uh, oh my god, an electricity. Okay, so now, now they all do electricity. So we can, we can actually, this is actually maybe better we can decide which one we want. We can do poison, fire, or electricity. Electricity is obviously dangerous for us right now. If we ever get immunity to one of them, we can switch our shots. This actually, you know what? We actually got a really good build for Rochambeau. I was like, ah, oh, man, we, we ruined it. We're not going to be able to showcase it. But au contraire. I think we accidentally got a run that will showcase how you can use it perfectly. Because now we can just uh, we can just turn it on to whatever the heck we want. Hello. We could switch it on the fly like that too. Like this, probably. I don't know which one does the most damage. I, I genuinely don't know. Obviously, electricity is not going to do the most damage to flying enemies. Poison will work. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I want to... Oh, I thought we were... I thought we were able to bottle the water. Is that a, uh... Change to bottle from, like, mod... The, or from, uh, um, Expand the Gungeon or something? It doesn't normally do that, does it? Drop it on the ground? Hold up. Hold up. Let's get back to that fire. There we go. Yeah, I think fire's the way to go. Oh, man. Man! Fire on the ground. But only at their feet. It's... This is actually really, really good. I think Rochambeau is another high-tier item. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. I love that we get to abuse it. Because it's just, uh, like, it's not like... Wait. Wait. Are we immune to all of it? There's no electricity there. I can't really tell. Oh, my God. Does it give us immunity to all of them? Big if true. Big if true. I can't really see the electricity. I feel like we might have to actually hit the enemy to make it happen. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it gives us, uh, gives us all of them. All of the immunities. Never mind. Busted. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. Oh my goodness. And it's so flavorful, too. This guy's immune to everything. There we go. I think the fire... Fire's my favorite here, because you can actually light flying enemies on fire. The poison works for both as well, but the, uh, the pool on the ground does not get them. The fire is the best because it will it'll re up on the enemy if the uh, if if they stand in the fire pool 
and they're flying. It's just slightly, oh, barely, but but enough for it to be the one we decide to go for on average will be better than the others. That being said, does poison not, uh, does poison work over the pit? Nope, it looks like it needs to uh, come from the pool. Gotcha. All right. Holy moly. Holy moly. Give me something good. Still waiting on like an ammo drop or something. I do want to get uh, get more in this phaser here. Honestly, this looks like the Rochambeau effect looks like it belongs on this sucker. Truly. It, it seems th very thematically appropriate. Phasor. Loving the run. Waiting for this gun to explode in my face, though. I think it's just a... I think it's just a warding thing. Heck. Oh, man. We've gone this far in the episode, and I haven't... Uh, I haven't unhumble bragged about making rainbow mode yet. What's going on? What's going on? All right, so in theory, you would probably assume electricity would be great here, but I don't think it does much of anything. Fire is the only thing that's really gonna wreck her. I'm gonna wreck it. Help. Fair enough. Get rid of it. Poison immune sucker. I don't care. Did she she crawled like two feet because of the snail bullets? That is amazing. She crawled like a centimeter. And goodbye. Goodbye, nice try. And we actually got enough for the rat cumian. All right. Thank the heavens. See, part of me is wondering, it might be fun to dupe Rochambeau. Like, we... It probably starts on a certain one, so we could maybe have two of the effects at the same time. That would be interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Like, because you could probably... Fire with one. Say they both start on fire. You like fire, reload to switch it to uh, the second one, and then you pick up the other one. Okay. Hmm. Only one new item. Mysterious chest contains wonder. This is from an actually a, a new item pack. That we're gonna be testing out here. Mysterious chest hardly locked up. You don't know exactly what's inside, but it has to be something very special. Okay. Kind of like the uh, mysterious strong box, I suppose. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I would love the mysterious like the mysterious strong box on rainbow on a rainbow run is like killing it because you get all the items. <laughs> it's so good. So I guess we'll just hold on to it for now. Definitely seems in the realm of mysterious lockbox, though. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to... Uh, I mean, there probably is. A way to go in and... Oh, man. It's, oh! Is that a Rochambeau as well? No, never mind. I was going to say that big old effect there. Um, there's probably a way to go in and turn off specific items just in case there's a situation where there's, uh, where there's duplicates. I think the closest thing I can think of to a duplicate right now is, like, the RGG and the RN gun, but they're even, they're even different. They're, like, they're not even the same thing. They have the same general kind of name, but they're not even... Like, one, one of them is randomized at the start of the run, and one of them randomizes every bullet in the clip. So, they're not even the same idea. 
But I'm, I'm not saying I don't even know what this does. It could do a, it could be a different thing. It doesn't even matter with those guys. We wouldn't get their item. But this uh, this may do something completely different, or maybe maybe uh, I, I couldn't. I'd be not shocked to hear that it was like just drops me a random item. Okay, we actually eh. <laughs> yeah. We used the blank for some reason. Dumb man. Dumb man. There's no need to feel down. I said dumb man. Get your face off the ground. You are dumb man. I just need a blank. I mean, there should be one. Hey, you know. Ah! I would store it if I didn't have a use for it already. Like, Phasor. Wait, we're immune. Wake up, sheeple. All right. Uh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get enough. We'll get enough. That's not really a. That's not really a concern. Man, imagine if we could instant reload with this, and we could literally just cycle between the three guns right now, or, or the three gun types. Like with every press of the uh, of the reload button, that that could be pretty nuts. What you got for me? A cleansing well. We're at one curse. These have been showing up a lot more frequently, which I, I mean, I, I I guess I'm I'm for. I've always said that shrines seem too weirdly infrequent. They're like, I don't know. They they treat them like special little treats. And I kind of, I wish that they were just a, a bigger integral part of the game. Just some of them. Oop. Well, hey. I could store it for later. You know, it's eight. <laughs> we could use our eight shots. Oh, man. Not min-maxing right. Okay, we're stacking up that junk. We could get junk, well, from like, uh, from the rat fight or something. Beep bop, bop. Uh, beep bop, 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 bop. Okay, the rooms have been a lot better, I gotta say. Those who were, uh, you know, who had complaints about the big rooms, everything like that. I feel like, uh, yes, I've said that because this room is. L I did a bad thing. Larger than your average bear. But it's still not even like. This is not a problematic large room. It's not really problematic at all. We've definitely run into less. And the ones we've run into seem like they are balanced out better. I gotta say. Credit where credit's due. Everybody be nice to our, our, our humble f f room designers. It's really been a lot better. Not to mention the fact that like a booty load more have been introduced. Like... This is another one where it's it's a big room, but the problem with the big rooms wasn't necessarily the fact that they were big rooms. It was pretty much the uh, like the fact that they're huge rooms with tiny tiny amounts of space to uh, to move around in between. But like this one this one works doesn't bother me. This one doesn't bother me at all, and it was pretty easy anyways. I made a big mistake, though. Do we have any way to make a blank effect when we fall? No. Okay, give me a shield so I can throw it in the pit. Oh. This actually could be a great boss for, uh, for snail bullets as well. Worst comes to worst. This is the fun thing. Worst comes to worst, we will just go to the alt floor. Ideally, I'd like a... Uh, a shield to drop so I can <laughs> throw it away. This boss is like pretty smooth with the slow down bullets. Oh, come on! I want to see you do the bounce around. Bounce around! Still taking that fire damage. Oh, it's because because he's in the pool of fire too. Oh, technically. And we didn't even get to see him hilariously slowly try to move around the place. All right. Thank the heavens. I did want to go here. So, all right. 
Step one, buy blank. Step two, go here. Step three, go in pit. Step four, cry. Step five, never let them see you cry. We will jump in the pit, use our dang shield. There we go. It's just that easy. Okay. Off I go then. All right. Wait a minute. No, I just realized something. Expand the gungeon, changed rainbow mode rat chest. We don't, oh, er, the rainbow mode rat fight. We don't get items. Heck. It's been nerfed. It's been nerfed. I mean, we still get some stuff, but it's been nerfed. Okay. What would chat want? What would chat want? What would comments want? Clone hype versus infinity gauntlet hype. Clone hype versus infinity gauntlet hype. Oh god, this is a tough choice. I, I'm gonna assume. We have a synergy. The golden ratio. Is that visual coming out of the... Anything happen to our stats? Okay. Not sure. Not sure what's up. Up, up, down, right, down, up. So the Infinity Gauntlet, I believe. What is it? I, I, I totally forget what it does on its own. I, it obviously has the, the major effect. Once per floor can transmute glass guan stones using its wielder's life force. Will unleash its true power once all seven magical stones are collected. Gauntlet belonging to an interdimensional tyrant, specially made to synchronize with the energy of Guan Stones, obsessed by magical Guan Stones. He scourged numerous galaxies to find a blacksmith capable of creating an instrument to harness their potential. Once per floor can transmute glass Guan Stones using its wielder's life force. Once per floor. I. Does it happen when we. I, I, I guess I like. We had it on stream, and it caused some memes. But that's because we... Oh, God. Hold up. Oh, no. I guess it doesn't really matter that much if we don't get the crazy rat punch out items. But... I totally forgot if I've gone up. I totally forgot. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Since, uh, since rainbow mode is changed and we don't actually get rat the the items from the punch out fight it's actually like better to not fight him then isn't that the case oh okay okay there's one up up down we got one and here's the here's the moment of truth did we bungle it the answer is probably right Yes, we did. But like I said, it does, <laughs> it's a little anticlimactic, but like, we kind of cheesed the system, huh? Because you don't actually, you want to get in, get the rainbow chest item, and then I guess you technically just want to get out. If the clone shows up again, I will pick it up since we do have the, guan, uh, the guantlet. Because that, like, if you don't know, when you get all seven, half of rooms literally just get broken just like that it's the only one that's a new item generates ammunition ancient relic allows you to reach right through the curtain and pluck ammo directly from the great beyond torn from the gut of an ancient gungeoneer who's ripped back from the jaws of death despite his best attempts okay 
We'll, we'll, I'll hold off for a second when until we're like actually, you know, out of ammo. Step one, run out of ammo. I think there's a... Oh, okay. There's actually a decent amount of... Um, fire resistant enemies here it, it almost may be a good idea to it may be a good idea to actually whoa, switch to electricity perchance 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 i am disappointed in my uh, short-term memory i was just uh i was just so excited i was just so excited is all electric wait hold up is all water just being electrified just cuz is that part of this I don't know what's going on here and I don't know what the synergy is but I'm feeling very strong there's definitely something golden ratio I mean, what is there about perfect balance? What is there about perfect balance that would be with the Infinigun? I'm not sure. I just don't know, man. Oh, can't get through there. I suppose I could look it up. This one, uh, Retrash does have all of his. Let's go... Uh, Infinity Guant Lit Mod. If I search that, it should. No, I did not mean Gauntlet. I meant Guantlet. I meant Guantlet. All right. Scroll down. Let's see. Recycle loader, tiny bullets, boombox. You got so many dang items now. Storm Charger, Twin Pins. Holy moly. Okay. You also have the... In Wait. If you also have the Infinigun, increase fire rate by 5% for every colored Guan Stone. Oh. The Infinity Guantlet can transmute multiple glass Guan Stones per floor as well instead of just one. Oh. My God. That's a good synergy. Oh my god. That's a very good synergy. Oops. I, I mean, like, I, I just got rumbled there in a goofy way. Uh, 5%. 5% fire rate for every single co new colored guan stone. Also, if we find multiple glass guan stones, we can transmute them. We, we're not limited to one per floor. So we could actually get all seven. Is it likely? No. But if we see, like, the glass shrine, that's gonna be nuts. If we get, like, high coolness, that would be nuts. There's a lot of, a lot of ways where it could happen here today. Not to mention, like, there could obviously be one in the, uh, in the stinking rainbow chest. I don't know that I would want to pick one over, like, a modded item, though, if it were to come down to that. That doesn't... I don't know. That doesn't sound like it'd be as, uh, as fun. Oh, boy. Oh, man. It's the, the fact that they, they can open doors, but my bullets don't go through them. I love all the fire we're putting down, though. That's gonna protect us. I definitely, I liked this room the first time I was in it. It was kind of like a, it was kind of clever. Which feels a little uh, hypocritical now. But also, it's the kind of thing where the more I run into this room, the less I'd, I'll probably like it. Oh, heck. You know what, we can use this right now. I think it's stronger at the moment. I just want a booty load of glass guan stones. Is that so much to ask for? There's usually one in every uh, in every shop. Oh boy. Is this the this is the Winchester's game uh, achievement? Ain't it? Ain't it? 
Get out of here! We have not used the uh, the active item yet, but I'm I'm concerned that it is going to give us like big curse or something, like the shrine. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. What's left? Yeah, see, this is one of the big rooms that's just so big. And the way these walls are set up makes it a little bit tougher to get to where you want to be. But, you know, it's all good. Still waiting on that mysterious chest as well. We do have to be careful with our HP because any glass guan stone, you better believe I'm going to want to trade it away. Where the hell's our shop? Oh. <laughs> Duh. There's still a lot of floor left. Three directions over here. Okay. Stand away. Stay away. Stay away. It seems like all electricity is immediately zapped. Whether or not that's a, a, non, a, a bug or a feature. I mean, I'm going to say it's a feature. I think that, it, I think that it's actually... Uh, it might actually be intended from Rochambeau. I wouldn't be shocked. It's a it's a high tier item. No glass guan stones. Rude. Rude. Unbelievable. You're unbelievable. There's quite a few uh, different ways to generate glass guan stones. There's a couple modded items that'll help do it as well. If we get the smelter, I would do that in a heartbeat. Yo. I'll do that in a heartbeat. I'll do this just in case at the... Uh, we could get an end of room drop situation. Well, we did, but I'll admit I meant a guan stone. Oh, ba ba ha ba 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 ha ba 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 Why'd I do it? So the slowdown has no effect here. Your slow has no power here. We definitely gotta manage the ammo capacity on this better than we are. I feel like he's fire immune and we should have been doing something else. I don't know if it's worth like switching on the fly. That like that should probably do more damage. Nah. I would imagine. I would imagine he'd take electricity damage. We're actually our damage is honestly not even that high. Glass Guan Stone or Riot. Glass Guan Stone or Riot. Riot. Riot it is. Riot it is. So you've chosen. All right. We are going to obviously go down here. Especially since we did, uh, you know, we bungled the rat today. Okay. Ditch it. Double check it. We're out. All right. And we're off. And we're off. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Plus two bullets. There's this gun that it keeps one us to have. This is from the... Uh, Afflicted. This is just a big damage up. <laughs> well, this is just a big damage up, and while it is very fun, this is a new item that I we've not seen at all. Penetrating bullets. Sounds like ghost bullets. Increases bullet penetration to further beyond made by a crazy engineer who is not satisfied with how ghost bullets pierce. So he made this. Does it pierce through walls? What's the, what's the difference? Is it true piercing? Like double piercing? And is it piercing without damage reduction? Is this piercing without damage reduction? Big if true. Big if true. Right now, it kind of just seems like piercing, but I feel like 
it wouldn't have that as its uh, tagline if there was not a reason for it to be in the game instead of uh, instead of ghost bullets. Love it. I mean, piercing with spreading the fire and stuff. What was that? What was that visual effect on the body? What was that? There's some kind of... I guess maybe it's just the death animation of that enemy in general, I guess? Apparently? I mean... Like, I'd be happy to have ghost bullets right now. So I'm happy to have this. If it's apparently better than ghost bullets... Good enough for me. I'll probably want to go back and do the, uh, the extra room clear. Get yourself out of here. Okay. Where are you? Where are you, fool? Oh, pff, all these modders modding in these crazy big rooms with hard to find enemies. <laughs> Be jokes. We are so close to getting the, uh, the chest. Heck. So close to getting the chest. Uh, let's see if we can get it before the before the boss. Also, we can try to fish out a glass guan stone or so. Also, we never go up here. Okay. Open up. Why are you closed? I just really want more guan. I want to get the guan. Glass, no. Okay, well, we have this. That's it? it? There's no catch? This whole time, there's no catch? I mean, the, I guess the catch is that there's curse. Which is, you know, like... Can't be that bad. We have two curse right now. At best, it's two curse. <laughs> uh, unless I, unless it generated one extra curse per use. I, I don't know, man. Seems like it's just a uh, a freebie, which is really good. Really good. Off I go, then. Oh, the slow is actually really nice there. We can actually set him on fire, too, which is almost kind of surprising. Bad. Bad boy. Bad boy. Can we only set him on fire when he's on land? It sure seems like it. Okay. Bonkers? It's just that good? I mean, it's probably a high... Thing. The thing always to remember about Rainbow Run stuff is... It's probably high tier. It's probably a high tier thing. Curse is two. Still two. That's nuts. That's very nuts. I just... I didn't think it'd be so hard to get another glass guan stone. You never, you never realize. You you take it for granted. You're like, oh man, they always show up. They're there all the time until you want them to show up all the time, and then they're not there. That's when they don't show up. When you need them the most. All right. The mirror. Obviously, the fun new gun. Fun looking new gun. Lump of space metal. This rich lump of unrefined space metal is prized throughout the hegemony of man systems for all the useful minerals and materials that can be drawn from within it. So is it just a, a bunch of shields, a bunch of money, and it almost looks like some keys? I mean, truth be told, like, that's really, really good. 
but I'll admit not what we needed right now. Grant me a glass guan stone. I would like a glass guan stone. I hope I'm hitting. I hope I'm hitting something up there. We're getting so many drops is the thing. We're getting like a lot of drops. She's not the one we're looking for. Okay, slow it down. Hell yes. Ooh, the snail bullets. I gotta say, snail bullets may be like secret MVP here. Also, snail bullets plus piercing is a, uh, oh, a match made in heaven. Glass guanstone. Glass guanstone, please. We could go for more money. It's not really gonna matter though. All in all, this has been a really solid, pretty easy run. I think it's showcased some uh, some new guns and, and some new stuff. Wow. Pretty darn well. Pretty darn well. Rochambeau. Gotta love it. I could see it being, like, a, just a really top tier. It's like a, the elemental effects, they're always, like, cool. But they leave a little bit to be desired. See, this stuff is... Doing one thing, though. We gotta keep that in mind. We have to switch. Because he's, like, immune to that st that stat effect. You know what? Let's use some poison for a while. Why not? This is the fireplace. This fireland. So there's probably quite a few people who are, you know, immune to the fire. Born by the fire. Okay. I mean, we never have to worry about ammo anyways. This... What's happening? Why are we getting so many drops? So many. I love it. I'm not complaining. But we only have two coolness. Like, all the luck from the first... We, we, we're super unlucky with our ammo drops for the first, like, five episodes, it felt like, of this, uh, of this series. And then it came to be kind of like we had some okay ammo luck. And now we're here. Bonkers ammo luck. Unless this active item does something to increase the ammo drop rate, which I, like, quite frankly, I kind of doubt. Because it already gives us so much ammo. Oh, my God. It good. It's so straightforward, too. It's just like, here you go. Have some freaking ammo. Seems a little, uh, little OP. It's probably, an, it's probably an S tier, I would imagine, right? With how strong that is, I'm imagining that all of like all the custom items we got today, or a lot of the custom items we got today, are tippity top tier. Don't you dare! God. Tippity tip tip top, tip top tippity top tier. Cause I, I mean our stats aren't even like great today, unless the rate of fire is good. I thought it. I, I'm. I'm almost positive that that's. It's not. I believe it's a. I believe it's negative. Oh my! No! 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 Double no! Double no! You're so lucky. I had a guan stone. No. Whoever did it. No. Uh. 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 Not enough space before the pit in the entering of the room. <laughs> no. Also, just just no in general to that concept. That whole concept is just generally no no to me. I think it'd be fun if you had like I, I would not be up I would not be upset with the room at all if there was enough space to to process that you're walking into a pit room. I would, I would be able to, to swallow the, you know, the pride and just say, you know what, I, I stunk, I wasn't paying enough attention, but like when it, when the, we talked about this every time, it's just, when there's only two, two rooms like it in the game, you don't, you don't fault the player. If there's like 
if there's like 20% of the rooms that, you know, you might fall into a pit when if you are walk in like that and the player's falling into pits, then you fault the player. If there's two, if there's like two rooms, three rooms in the game that are like it, then you fault the, uh, the designer of the room for them falling into pit. Is generally my mentality. Like, Binding of Isaac, to an extent, you can fault the player. Oh, no. Why does this always happen? Is it the Infinigun? Oh, no! Which thing is it? It's all, why is it always the dragon? Why is it always the dragon? Is it the poison effect on the dragon? Okay, well, we apparently got hit. Don't know what's going on here. Is it the electricity on the dragon? Obviously, this is a little, little wacky. But we're gonna be fine? Worst comes to worst, I, like, if things get extra crazy, we will teleport out. I'm thinking this is a rochambeau -ish shit. You know what? This is... This is a move to dodge right here. You have no idea. Uh. Uh. All right. I'm, I'm like, I kind of, in a weird way, I kind of dig it. Oh, if we don't fire, it goes more normal. Okay. Like, we're actually doing totally fine. Like, it all... What? <laughs> it all reminds me of, like, a, uh, like a glitched drag... Like, a glitched dragon fight that's, like, intentional. We almost... Like, we honestly kind of made the fight more fun for ourselves in a weird way. Uh, that being said, do I want to do that again in that way? No, not really. It makes me scared that the game's gonna crash. Interesting. It could be from the slow, like, cause he's no, maybe he's not normally supposed to be slowed. It could be from the electricity, the poison. I know the last time it was uh, the fact that the dragon wasn't supposed to be able to be poisoned or something, something along those lines. I'm so sad about the uh, the glass guanstone situation. I was hoping we would get more. Still have a chance. The one fun, like, one really fun thing about bullet hell in rainbow mode. You do at least get to pick an item. That's always good. That's always a good time. Because normally it's like, yeah, I'm going here. So what? What's in it for? What's in it for me? What's in it for old Rito McGee? But on this run, at least it's like, okay, we get something. We get we get a thing. But I can't not finish in the in bullet hell because. It's, it's the true ending, truly. All right. Blue juice. We picked up this. It's the fun aura thing. This could dig... Okay. Sorry, blue juice. We could dig up guan stones. Got the ice bomb. Sorry, blue juice. We could dig up guan stones. We got another ice bomb. Two ice bombs. That changed... Sorry. We will figure out what you do later, Blue Juice. It's probably just a, uh, it's probably a stats up. I can't tell if that's a pit. But like, okay. Uh, did this get reverted to the old version or what's up? I can't tell. No, I don't think so. Ooh, seeing this with the Rochambeau is actually, you know, it's giving us the actual, uh, the true Rochambeau spirit. We want to just keep on going. We want to dig. I'm pretty sure you can get a glass guan stone. In theory, we could just sit here and just keep on firing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Keep on digging. I'm treasure hunting, baby. Treasure hunting, baby! 
Keep on firing. Keep on firing. Just never stop firing. We could obviously cheese it even more and literally just sit in the hallway and wait. But the shovel... Oh, Nelly Nelly. Thanos would have had a would have would have stood a chance if he had a freaking shovel. Boop, 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 dig. Keep him coming. We're gonna have to be careful though. Like uh, we do have to, you know, obviously be concerned about our HP. Okay. I love the uh, the little water visual that gets left on the ground with the dang the shovel and the uh, zap bullets it just looks nice okay it does take a long time for this active to charge up I guess that's that's the catch that's the like the quote unquote catch extra blank sounds great run out of ammo before we're charged up. Probably. Give me another glass one stone. I can't believe it. Like it's it, it is a, it's a perfect concept. If only we got it like a floor ago. I think we would have I would I think we would actually genuinely have the infinity gauntlet charged up to the max. Soft synergy right here. Okay, almost out of ammo, but we're almost at charged ammo. Dang, I got excited because we got the the glass guanstone relatively early there. I got excited. Oh man, we got a five percent attack speed upgrade on this sucker though. That helps. Not that we needed. To be stronger per se. Whoop. Almost hit that ammo. Use them blanks. Don't don't be don't be stingy. Ooh. Oh we got the dang uh, the uh, dang uh, secret room there. Okay. More guan! More guan! Fair enough. Oh, wait, no. We do not have nearly enough guns to munch. I'm waiting. Oh, my God. This is something. Glad we got the snail bullets, though. That That is a... Woo, that is a... Woo, that is a room. That is a room if I've ever seen one. And I've seen a couple rooms. I have played this game a little bit. I've seen a f at least a few rooms. But this lack of guan is uh, disturbing. Just keep on firing. Just trying to spam that. Spam that ammo. Get that digging done. Get that darn digging done. Okay. Trigger, trigger triplets. Oh, we got spawned on him. We got hit because, oh, the blue guanstone is slowing things down for us. Don't mind if I do. Come on, eh. Keep on digging. I know we have a stronger, we've got a stronger gun. Well, arguably stronger gun. I think the phasor might be better. Okay. Never mind. Dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. Actually, we should just do this right now. Ooh, ooh, ah. Oh, come on now. Then we spam it all. Spam it all. Man, I thought this would work better. One of the guans is spinning a lot quicker than the other. 
kind of, you know, I kind of like that. All right. Nothing. Please. Please. Or if we got like a, a random glass wand shrine, that'd be amazing and unlikely, but also it's modded, so like, who even knows? God. Are we doing it? The answer is yes. How are you all doing today? Let's, uh, I'd like to take a moment to plug our Lord and Savior One Step from Eden. Please check out that series. It's been going on for about a, a week or so now, and I'm absolutely adoring every second of it, and I hope you guys are interested in, uh, in checking it out. If you have not, I'd say it's 2020's best roguelike. I really, really do think so. It's probably like my 2020 game of the year so far. Uh, obviously, it's really early into the year. We got a bunch of slappers potentially coming out. Like, Splunky 2 is supposed to be coming out later this year, and so is... Um, Darkest Dungeon 2 might come out later this year. Silk Song, Silk Song is supposed to be coming out later this year. That's like, there's a lot of slappers that are supposed to be coming out. So it's, it's, it's going to be some tough territory, but at least uh, I, I can stand by the fact that I think it's my game of the year so far. And I did my series on it. If you're interested, in, it's a very, very action-focused deck builder. Like if you turned off, if you hear deck builder and you're like, oh, snooze, I hate cards. It's like, it's not really like, as deck buildery as uh, most deck builders. It's very, it is so fast paced. Like it is, it, it, <laughs> it's, it's, it's fights make Gungeon look like it's really, really slow. <laughs> it makes Gungeon look really slow in some fights. It's, it's fantastic. It's so good. It's so mean, mean. 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 Also, you know what else is mean? The fact that we have not gotten another Guanstone yet. It's like, we don't even need the, uh, like, the, the full effect is not even, like, I mean, it's very good. I don't know if I want to spoil it if you, if you don't know what it is. I might have already said what it did, but. Oh, man. I mean, it, it takes the place of a whole room. But we just, I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, this is a hallway. It's not a hallway. It was a room all along. We haven't gotten, like, anything in a while. Making me wonder what's up. Like, we haven't even gotten, uh, like, a blank. Maybe we drop to pick it up. Maybe that's what needs to happen. For good luck. So we got two ice bombs literally right away. Did they put something in the, uh... Did they put something in the code of the shovel to make it have diminishing returns or something? Rude if true. Very rude if true. God, I love snail bullets. Top tier. Are they? I don't know. But they should be. They're very, very good. And I kind of knew they would be if they didn't have any kind of a catch to them. Like, you could probably throw on, like, uh, also slows down your bullets, and it wouldn't even, like, it wouldn't even phase me. I'd be like, they're still, they're still OP. It wouldn't even phase me for a second. Yeah. I, uh, you know. I can't tell if that's a... Ooh. I'm glad I have piercing today. Couldn't tell if that was a pit or not. Key. Who even cares about the freaking Keekin? Keekin in bullet hell? It's not a, it's not a reward. It's an insult. Unless they added, uh, you know, reasons to use keys in bullet hell. Okay, this room is a lot. Like, I know we should probably just, in theory, just stand still, but they're all going to... Eventually approach me, right? <laughs> Where are they? I swear, there's there's got to be diminishing returns on the uh, on the digging right now. I I I'm getting nothing. I'm getting the I'm getting one casing every single time. Nothing else. I thought I was I thought I was a clever boy. And I think I was, but also, 
Also, I wasn't at the same time. Can we shoot from right here and... Yeah. Uh-oh. This is... This is very rude. This is a very rude room. Dig, dig, dig. Dig a freaking hole. Dig, dig, dig. Dig a freaking hole. I... Reset the RNG, obviously. What if that worked? That'd be crazy. Yeah. Rip. I know there's that synergy that gives you better loot that I think would probably work. So yeah, this is this is either got some kind of diminishing returns on it, or uh, there's a big bug, or I got insanely lucky, like insanely lucky. Which I don't think I got that lucky. The the, the double ice bomb. Maybe the ice bombs. We got the ice bombs. In the game is like, oh, there you go. You already got your reward. You got the two ice bombs. You got two of the exact same item, the ice bomb. You should be happy. You should be happy with yourself. Don't worry. You got everything you're gonna need. Two of the exact same item, the ice bomb. Even though you can't use two of them. I should be happy that I got a dang glass guan stone at all, I guess. Oop, oop, oop. I mean, we are like pushing ourselves to the limit here, doing the full clear unnecessarily pretty uh you know could be bad but all right we gave it our all did we really do we really this seems like a huge waste of time i it seems like a, it seems like a waste of time i think we just uh cash in here a bit we'll use this for now He getting hit by it? He is getting hit by it. Good. Good deal. Pierce through his ads. I feel like it might not do reduced damage on Pierce. Which is very cool. Hell yeah. Alright. I mean, this active item is very good. Obviously, I'm talking about one of the two ice bombs that I got. <laughs> you can't take me. I got I got a, a penny. Please. I'll pay my my dues. I got one penny. Didn't you see? All right. Oops. Bad, but it worked out okay. See, this is not the gun for this, but it's still... The thing is, it still feels good. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, good. Uh, okay, good. No! Bad. It's fine. We have plenty. I don't know why I care. We have plenty of strong stuff. Slow down. There we go. See, this is what I was talking about the whole dang run. He gets wrecked by this. I am stink. Should I even pick up a, uh, a dang glass guanstone at this point if it shows up? Probably not. Because we would take the damage. We gave it our all, man. We gave it our all. I forget which... Uh, oh, yeah, we, pa we passed up blue juice for it. Gotta love it. There we go. Very fun run today. Very fun run. 
it's exactly what I was kind of hoping for with this series. We were, like, the rainbow mode, checking out the rainbow mode was fun. We were able to, you know, pick, obviously, a lot of modded items. We got less, you always get less items than a normal run on modded run, or uh, on uh, rainbow runs, though. You get typically stronger items, but you get a lot less of them. So, in a way, it's good we were able to showcase them that, you know, in, in, with that in mind. It does, you know, run the issue that what if we did a run and then we just got, like, two chests that only had regular items. That wouldn't be very fun. But, holy moly. Holy cannoli. That is going to do it for today. Absolutely slapping. The uh, Infinity Gauntlet even ended up being totally fine. Like, we got two uses out of it. Anyways, we obviously got the 10% uh, fire rate up and everything. This, this active is very good. I like the idea of this rock. It's, you know, they don't all need to be the most crazy complicated things. It's fun to have a, a little thing that was just like... Here is a, it's obviously not really as good on rainbow mode, but if we saw that, if I got that out of a chest on a regular run, I'd be like, I would just get a really good feeling, you know? Just, just I'd be like, you know what? That's a nice safety blanket. Just all that armor, money, and I think it gave you keys. I'm confused on the piercing bullet. Uh, I, it's apparently be better piercing bullets. I don't know how or why, but uh, maybe we'll figure it out over the course of time i'm not sure why it's better we'll see that's gonna do it for today though thank you for watching i greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point with an extra special thank you to dhex throbo nadel rick justice tom the shogun gun more than awesome semi colon p and patricia for supporting on patreon at the go team gungeon tier the absolute champions if you want to help support this channel i am doing this full time and patreon is a massive reason why you can have support over there and get all kinds of rewards, such as a shout out at the end of episode, this name on characters in series like Undermine, name in the description, special roles in Discord, all kinds of stuff like that. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. See ya next time. Watch One Step from Eden.